Hi, I'm Paul. Welcome to MIG Monday. In this installment, what we're going to do is we're going to finish up the welding project that we started, the making a welding table. Uh, in the previous episodes, we cut the material, we plasma cut the pieces, got everything fit up, and then we started welding it together. And now we're in the final stages. Uh, the last thing we need to do, or what I'm going to do in this episode, uh, we're going to, I'm going to tack weld a nut over this hole that I had previously drilled. And then that's going to be able to kind of, if you can see this here, I'm going to, and then this will be a fitting that you can tighten this nut down and that will hold in place the tube that's going to slide in and out to be able to give us extension. And also, after I do that, on this tube, we've previously cut the slots. We're going to install the arm. And then on the end of the arm, we're going to install a clamp. And once that's finished, the project is finished. So uh, let's get started, and we'll, we'll get through this in pretty short order, I think. All right. All right, step one, what we're going to do is tack weld this nut to the plate. So to hold it in place, I'm just putting the screw through there right off the bat. I'm going to stick it down in there and then hold it in place while I tack weld it. Now, I need to point out uh, from a safety consideration, of course, you always use your safety gear and some, your safety glasses and all that. But sometimes some of these, these uh, nuts and, and bolts are uh, plated with materials, which which can be uh, hazardous when you weld on them, cadmium plating, for example. Um, so you want to make sure you don't breathe those fumes. And you know, some of you guys have complained in the past about uh, that I don't spend much time talking about smoke extraction. Uh, part of that is because I don't uh, anticipate somebody doing this on an industrial level day in and day out. Uh, it's just a quick weld here or there. Uh, but because I've gotten some complaints, I've gone out and I've bought a $3,000 smoke extraction unit just so you guys don't complain all the time. So with that being said, let's tack this in place. the smoke being sucked up into this smoke exhaust instead of into my lungs but we're all set with that all right so our tack weld is done uh, and I said tack weld because I mean yeah, if you want to go put a bead all the way around it one of the things you have to watch is that you don't put too much heat in there because you're going to distort the nut and then you're not going to have a, a an easy weight time of screwing this in and out uh, so you know just work the nut or the screw back out or the bolt back out And we're all set with that. So now the next thing we need to do, or that I plan on doing anyway, is we're going to take a bolt, and I'll probably use a new one. And just in the interest of not spending all kinds of money running out and buying a little piece of bar stock to do this, uh, if you have a small little piece of round material or whatever you might choose to use, I'm just going to now weld the piece across the top like so so that I can uh, use it as a T-handle to get some pressure on there and screw it down and lock that sliding bar in place. All right, so let's do that next. All right, now what I'm gonna do is make the T section. I'm gonna weld one piece to the other and just make a little crossbar like that. Uh, again, this is the possibly a cadmium plated bolt, so I'm gonna turn on my smoke exhaust and then we'll make this weld. All I'm going to do is hold it in place and do a tack. All right, I've got this tack welded together now. So we've got a nice little T-handle. Come over here, screw it into the... Into the nut that I previously tack welded. Now what we have is, even though this arm isn't finished yet, you'll get the idea. As I screw this in, so it gets down and contacts the inner tube and locks it in place. So I can now can adjust this anywhere I need as far as the height uh, adjustment goes. So, so far so good. Last step now, 
will be to, or not the last step, the second last step will be to weld our arm into these slots. And then once that's done, then we'll weld some kind of clamping device on the end of the arm so you can uh, affix your work uh, to the arm for welding. All right, so let's move on to the next step now. All right, so basically what I'm gonna do here is just slide this, the arm down through the previously cut slots. I'm gonna leave a little bit sticking out of the back, if you can see that, so that uh, I have something to weld to. Always use the proper tool. I'm going to get up here on the table now. And let's see here. Get the, just kind of see if it's reasonably square. That looks pretty good. So I'm just going to make a quick tack weld. Hold it, everything in place. Now our C-clamp is welded in place. We just put the sliding tube inside the main one. And you can just lock this in place wherever you might choose to. You know, kind of out of the way if you're welding on this table or if you need a little more height there or as we say, you got almost unlimited height here well, not unlimited, but you know, within reason for welding any kind of overhead project you might have to do. So that's it. Other than maybe cleaning up the welds, maybe doing some paint to make it look nicer, uh, you have a finished product here. I do have to remind you that uh, if you are gonna paint it, remember you're gonna have to have a place that you can connect your ground so that you can weld the, all right, on this table. If you can't connect the ground right to the work, you'll have to connect it to the table somewhere. I know in some places, uh, if it's gonna be a permanent installation as far as the uh, ground, you could maybe even weld a little bolt or something on the bottom of the table and just permanently attach a ground wire from your machine right to that and you don't have to mess around with the ground all the time as long as you're welding on the, on the table. All right, so that concludes the project. I hope you enjoyed making it or if you haven't made it yet and you're going to, I hope you enjoy making it. So that's it for this section of MIG Monday. Have a good day. We'll see you next time. Well, if you learned something today or like what you saw, please feel free to subscribe and keep an eye out for new episodes every MIG Monday.